Hey everybody, it's Pat here and I'm back on day seven with tip number seven on 100 ways to get healthier in the new year. And again, I'm working from this article that I ripped out of a magazine at New Year's when I was away because I really believe that majority of these tips are so relevant and more importantly, so simple for us to implement and make progress one day at a time. Hey, Katie. So this one, hi, Michael. This one I thought was really interesting today because I've been reading some posts on Facebook and Jade just posted and said, it must be January because people are looking to declutter or lose weight. Mm, yep, that's right. So the thing is, a lot of people will start out with great enthusiasm but don't continue with great enthusiasm. So that's why I love these tips. So today's tip is clean out your cabinets. And what it says is to kickstart healthy eating habits, get rid of anything that is expired or stale, and toss out old appliances and duplicates. Now this is something that I did implement when I, I came back from the holidays and I was cleaning up my fridge and getting ready for a fresh start uh, for the new year. And so there were some items, there were condiments in my fridge that had expired. So it was like, mm, bye baby. So the condiments were out. And also I updated my blender because along with everything else around my home when Mercury was in retrograde, my computer, my modem, my phone, and so on. My blender died too. And so, you know, you want to upgrade some of your appliances. And so that I thought that was a really good tip. Now on the weekend, a friend of mine was telling me about a show on Netflix. I'm not a big Netflix fan, but she was telling me about Maria Kondo, who seems to be a household name these days. She had a book out last year, I believe, called Tidying Up. She's the Japanese guru of tidying up. So I watched her show on Netflix this weekend. And yes, she was about decluttering. And I found it fascinating because I loved her philosophy and I loved her practice, her style of decluttering. And it was all around the mindset and the thought process of sparking joy. Are the things that you own in your home sparking joy? And it's a great question. So this tip here, I believe, is just very timely. And especially because last year, I helped so many friends who were downsizing, preparing their homes for sale, and moving. And so I went into the homes to help them declutter, purge, and pack. Oh my gosh, people. We have too much stuff. And that stuff is cluttering our home. It's cluttering our brain. It's blocking our energy. So seriously, whether or not you're looking to downsize or move or what have you, start clearing the energy in your home. So this is a great tip. Start in your fridge. Get rid of the stuff that has expired, has stale dated. Get rid of some of the appliances. Maybe freshen up some of your frying pans or toaster or something and bring some fresh energy in. So I thought this was a really great tip today again because I see it all over social media. So why the heck not add my tip to that as well. Those of you who are serious and committed to healthy living, I do host a private Facebook group called Healthy Living. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link. You can click on it and come on over and join us. Serious people only. All right, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another tip. Bye everybody and play. Hey, hit share. This will be helpful to people. Bye everyone.